now to the weather watch and a live look outside at Lakeshore Drive. Nice and clear, sunny now, but Mary Kay is here with an update on the forecast and some possible changes. Mary Kay? Right, we are tracking a front and it's going to be coming through this evening for us. And you can already tell the winds have kicked up dramatically. There's a lot of humidity sitting around and some heat too. And our weather watchers are finding that warm air. We have 84 degrees from Steve in Ottawa. He has a partly cloudy sky. And then as we check in in the city, 81, Patrice in Chicago. She has a mostly cloudy sky, but look what she noticed. In fact, a number of the weather watchers were saying that they saw some of the air show practicing this afternoon. Uh, kind of loud, kind of startling because tomorrow, of course, more will practice, but for to see it today for the first time, I saw a few driving in as well. In fact, also on Facebook, Peter Yankala is sharing a picture for, for us tonight as he was looking about from his condo and you could see the Blue Angels practicing this this afternoon. That's a roar and an excitement in the sky. And what about the weekend? Well, tomorrow will be the practice. A lot of people go outside to check that out. But Saturday and Sunday, it looks like on Saturday we could start with clouds in the morning, but then clearing skies in the afternoon, about 81 degrees for a high temperature. And then on Sunday, warm sunshine, 86 for the afternoon high. Right now we have 81. We still have a wind out of the west southwest up at 17, but gusting near 30 miles per hour in places. And we still have dew point temperatures well into the 60s. 60s makes the humidity noticeable. 70s makes it almost unbearable. So we can feel the humidity. We can see cooler air to the north setting up behind the front as temperatures in the 70s start to step a little bit closer. But here's that area of low pressure. Sort of pinwheeling over Wisconsin here. And the tail end of this wants to send a few showers along the Wisconsin border. So Lake County, McHenry County, even Kenosha and Racine. Brief showers here. Probably not big storms, but we could see a brief shower or cloud deck move through as this front pushes in. Now when we look at future cast, we see that spotty variety around Chicago land of clouds and maybe a few showers between now and 10 o'clock. Then as we go through the overnight, we'll see those clouds hang with us in the morning tomorrow, but then we start to see sunshine in the afternoon as high pressure comes in. But as we get into the evening hours of Friday, if you have plans Friday night, we're going to watch for showers and a few thunderstorms to line up. This is the sunset hour when those may be stepping in and then pushing out of the picture with that clearing happening on Saturday morning. So for tonight, low temperatures will hover around 66 degrees. We're keeping the winds up. They may gust 25 to 30 miles per hour at times, but temperatures will be on the mild side, mid 60s in northwest Indiana, 60 degrees in Aurora. And then for the daytime hours tomorrow, we will have have sunny skies in the midday, but then that rain develops as the sun goes down 82 for a high with a west wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So with the wind out of the west, probably not seeing a lake breeze. We'll see 84 downtown 82 in Joliet. I do want to take you though to the tropics because we do have a new tropical storm. Harvey winds are at 40. The long range models does continue to clip Honduras here and push it into Belize perhaps, but staying at tropical storm status. So we'll be talking about that. Another thing talking about the eclipse long range models do bring in clouds in the middle of the day and perhaps afternoon showers so we'll have to watch for that but temperatures will definitely be warmer on Monday with a high of 88. That cold front comes through on Tuesday. That's our best chance to see showers and thunderstorms. So as we go through your day tomorrow, it's dry guys until you get into the nighttime hours. Okay, Mary Kay, thanks.